Good morning. It's Saturday the 12th of October 2019. Muesli, an overnight soak. 80 grams of homemade muesli, 120 mils of milk, which is still quite a lot. And a tablespoonful of honey, 15 grams. Speaking of which, my honey pot came yesterday. After more than a week, Hermes, the delivery company, had it for nine days, I think. So I'd waited in, and then yesterday afternoon I went for a walk, and it came it came while I was out, so it was sitting at my, outside my door. But it was not what I expected. I'll just get it for you. I was expecting something about, I don't know, eight, ten inches high. Just looking at the photo. That's <laughs> tiny. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's lovely. It's beautiful. So I've got honey in it. So there's there's the the dripper, although the, the, the honey's crystallised now. We just sit that in hot water and that would that would soften that again, liquid it, like make it liquid again. It's an absolutely beautiful wee thing. But not what I was expecting. I was expecting something that height, you know. But I'm pleased with it anyway. But Hermes are atrocious. I think it was lost for a while. And I was onto the guy who I bought it from on eBay. And he was disgusted with Hermes. He was onto them and uh, chasing them up. I mean, they had it for nine days. And it was it was in the, the local depot, it says Airdrie, which is Edinburgh. It had been in Edinburgh. I went back to Airdrie, back to Edinburgh. And... Anyway. Oh, dear. So... I've had that soaking in the fridge overnight. Bon appetit. Lovely. I put yesterday's food diary in. I think it was fairly low. I've actually, I don't think I've completed it. I've not filled it in. Because I had some dates again last night. So that'll have bumped it up. After my evening meal, what did I have? Oh, a frittata. With leeks. Oh man, that is so tasty. And I had a ragu, lentil ragu with noodles at lunchtime. Usually for breakfast. I think I had a couple of bananas because they were I've had them over a week. They were, they were falling off the my banana tree. And then last night I was watching the rugby Guinness Pro 14 and I had a few dates. They're super tasty, but they're really high in calories. But I think it was still fairly low overall. Yeah, I went for a walk yesterday afternoon just along to the train station to collect my train tickets for Monday. And it was blowing a gale. I tried some trousers on. I think I mentioned before I had, what was it, 53 pairs of trousers and only two or three pair fitted me. Well, now some of them are too big. So the, the 46 waists, which are, they were too tight for me, I know that's disgraceful, but they now fit me. So I've got a 20 million pair of them. 
So I was trying some on, so some of my old comfortable trousers I put a pair on. So I'm pleased with that. So hopefully they'll be too big soon. And I can start getting ready. I also, I bought a, a new shirt game yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? French rugby shirt. Because it was supposed to be England, France at the World Cup today. <laughs> so, just for a laugh, I thought I'd have my French rugby shirt. <laughs> but it's been cancelled that much because of some typhoon. So, and that was a 2XL. And that fits me. Fantastic. Really nice. An old retro style rugby shirt. Really nice. Delicious. It's lovely that. I also went to the co-op for some stir-fry veg yesterday. So that'll do for today and tomorrow. Because if I'm going away on Monday, I, I don't want any fresh food in the fridge. And I've still got a portion of lentil ragu. So I'll have that maybe for lunch. Stir fry for my evening meal. Stir fry for lunch tomorrow and a frittata for my evening meal. Keeps the calories down. Nice tasty food. And I might do an overnight soak again tonight for the muesli. Use up that milk. And I, I like the way it, it softens everything up. Makes it easy to eat. The seeds are all over my mouth. Sorry about that. I've been recording this morning grinding coffee beans. I <laughs> make a pot of coffee. So I had my chest harness on for the GoPro and I used my microphone as well. I've been mucking about with a voice changer as well, so it's like there's helium and chipmunks and one's a child speaking. <laughs> you can get robot voices and things like that. A, child, a child's voice is right. That's what I am. Just a bit of fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Ta-ta for now.